All right. Well, it's been a while since I made a video, uh, but I thought it was probably past time to, to show you some of the things I've been up to. So right now, this that you see here is um, an S -Bit X. It's a version two from a company called HF Signals. It's a company in India. And what this is, is uh, this is um, a hybrid SDR uh, HF transceiver. So what it what it does is uh, it has up to uh, this version two has 40 watts of output. They uh, the version three is the newest one, and they've actually toned that down a little bit to 25 watts. Uh, it was a little protection, more protection for the finals. Uh, but this one will do about 40 watts. And uh, not only is it an HF transceiver, but it also has a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, built into it. So it has um, the capability to do uh, all the digital modes. Um, it allows you to do um, uh, logging internal in, inside the radio itself. Uh, you can do uh, PSK reporter spotting. Uh, you can you know, get on websites that has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, it's it's actually pretty pretty fun radio to play around with. You can run FT8, FT4, uh, PSK31, all the digital modes, uh, FL Digi, all of that can be run from uh, natively inside the radio. So let me turn it on and we'll um, play around with this a little bit. I'll show you some of the things it can do. So I went to a ham fest about a month ago and brought a few things that I wasn't using anymore. And one of them was. Um, another uh, hf radio and i saw the guy two tables down from me was selling this um this s -Bit x and he uh he had been at the ham fest prior to that you know a couple months before and he had this for sale and i was looking at it then and the thing is i don't think most people really knew that walked by really knew what it was and i do because i uh, also have from hf signals I have uh, one of their older radios, which is uh, called a Microbit X. I have their version 6 Microbit X, and that um, is pretty awesome, too. And I've been enjoying the heck out of that also. But this one, so right now we're in a digital mode. So let's go to, um, I'll go to upper sideband. So it even has a microphone built into the, the corner, so you can actually use just this radio even without an external mic if you choose to so let's see what we can do here 40 meters it's the middle of the day so let's see if we can get probably going on to 20 meters might be a better choice Yes, there's, there's some CW. Wow. That's a pretty good sound of radio for, for what it is, for the size that it is. You can see it's not uh, it's not a very deep radio either. Oh, I'm, my tuning is way too big here. That's what I want. There we go. All right, so anyway, it does sideband modes. Um, I don't know if how well you can see that. Uh, CW, FT8, you can do right here inside the uh, SPIDX. 
uh, software as well as a couple digital modes PSK31 and RIDI uh, or you can set it to digital which I'll show you here I'll actually close that and then go over to FL Digi and you have capability to do all the modes all the uh, digital modes that uh, that FL Digi allows So you can do um, any of them if you'd like. I don't know how you can even see that. There we go. It's a little better. Yeah, so I've made several contacts on uh, using PSK31, um, Olivia, Contestia. And uh, if you look on the side here, let me disconnect this antenna so I can show you. Those are the inputs and outputs for the Raspberry Pi. So um, you have a cat, um, um, wow, my brain just left me there. Anyway, ethernet cable connection there. Um, you have four USB plugs here, uh, antenna port. Um, yes, yeah, so you can you can connect the keyboard, wireless mouse, whatever you want, uh, GPS dongle, whatever. And then the other side has, uh, I'm not using this, um, this, I think it's an XT60 connector. I ran a, a line in so I could have, uh, power poles, but anyway, uh, headphone mic, uh, key jack. And that's, uh, that's it. It'll do, it's a, it's a full Raspberry Pi in here, Raspberry Pi 4. So you've got all these, uh, all the software that you can add here. That's where you can actually see this. I think it's pretty amazing. I mean, all these, all these are uh, all this is software that I've uh, that I've installed. Um, you can put you can put games. Um, you can even get on the internet. If, assuming you have an internet connection. And this is all from inside a, a, an HF radio. Which I think is pretty amazing. Now this is kind of a... Um, it's intended for people that want to tinker around. And they want to um, do a little bit of development on their own. They want to do a little bit of hacking. Uh, that's, I mean, it'll work as a plug-and-play type of radio with a little bit of setup. But where it really shines, I think, is um, as something that can be hacked and as something that you can play around with and and change things on. Uh, the um, firmware is is constantly being improved. It's uh, open source firmware, so it can be adjusted. It can be um, altered as you'd like. Um, I don't know what else to say. Really, I've uh, I've been having a blast with it. Um, I built. It does not have an internal tuner, so I've ordered one of these little $35 Amazon um, ATU100 kits and, and built it, and then uh, obviously hot glued the, the coil wraps, and then built a little case for it, as you can maybe see a little bit here. So now I have a portable uh, uh, tuner for if I want to uh, use a non-resident antenna or or uh, touch up a little bit on existing antennas, and it works great. Um, I think this is this is a, a great radio for uh, just putting in a bag and, and going out and playing around with. You know, it's not um, it's not 100 watts, obviously, but but it's getting the job done. I've been checking into some digital nets on the. I'm in Missouri, and I've been checking into some digital nets on the East Coast on uh, HF on um, on 40 meters in the evenings and it's been doing fine. So I'm on digital, I'm 40 meter uh, digital modes. I'm probably putting out about 17 Watts or so, maybe 20, you know, not running the full 45, uh, being that it's a hundred percent duty cycle mode. And it's been doing great. It's, it's been working uh, very well for me. Uh, this is, I think this radius about $400. If you want the board, um, um, if you want the, the whole radio with the, with the Raspberry Pi 4 installed and this, this case, about $400 plus shipping. 
Uh, it's great. The um, Ashar Farhan is the um, is the guy that uh, that started HF Signals. That's done all the design and 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 runs that company. And and he's fantastic. He uh, there's a, a groups IO uh, group uh, called Bidx called Bidx Twenty, which is actually the uh, the group for all of the the micro Bidx and uh, S Bidx. Um, transceivers and and he will actually get on there and reply to people that have issues or have questions or suggestions and um, fantastic guy great ham and uh, just makes some some pretty neat stuff and um, I like it I uh, I don't know if there's any type of warranty if anything you know uh, goes wrong but this is this is not that complicated to uh, to work on yourself if need be I can I could replace the finals if I had to, or if I messed something else up. I feel confident I could, I could probably uh, take care of it myself. Okay, Larry. Well, uh, KB Zero LTT. Uh, good to have you riding along with us, there, Larry. And uh, drive safe up there in Kansas, and uh, come back and join us uh, whenever you can on the day here. Uh, we sure appreciate you being there this morning, and thanks uh, for what you do, uh, making America. A run there with uh, all the things that you got, you truck drivers uh, move around the country for us. That's filtering out for about eleven hundred fifty down. Okay. It's only allowing between 1150 to about 2000 in. And that's pretty dang good. Oh, there's another station just up, just up in there too, and you can't hear them at all anymore. Are you still there? Or with that filter tightened up, you couldn't hear them at all. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, filtering abilities on this uh, little radio.